Let's make something crystal clear. No, this is not a brand new Friday the 13th game. No, this isn't coming by the original developers of Friday the 13th the game. However, the content I'm about to go over in this video actually changes how the game works. So much content, it's overwhelming. There will be timestamps in the description of this video. Friday the 13th Summer Camp is a new and upcoming mod build for Friday the 13th the game. And don't think just because you don't have a PC that you're out of luck. Stay till the end of the video. All the details I cover will be coming from the lead developer of Friday the 13th. Summer Camp. Friday the 13th Summer Camp will include all unreleased, beta, and alpha assets and animations. Nearly all locomotion, combat, interaction, crouch, and attacks will be replaced with alpha or beta animations. In other words, Summer Camp will be focusing on the earlier days of Friday the 13th the game. When players launch Summer Camp, they'll be greeted by this very clean and original main menu. Not only that, but the weapon also changes to the one you have chosen. The same applies to the Jason mask. That's right, the Summer Camp customization is going to be awesome. Let's get into it. For custom customization will actually have a beta customization HUD. This is the original and the summer camp developers will do a remake of it. Moving into the perks, we'll be having an alpha perk remake. Counselors will be able to select and purchase perks. Now you gotta tell me what you think about that in the comments. Now that our Jason Voorhees looks quite fresh, let's move into the lobby. Summer camp's lobby will be inspired by the 2015 alpha lobby. Time to load into the game. Man, I'm getting so much information that I'm literally adding it into the video while I'm editing it, which is why you have to subscribe to my channel so you are notified when we get new updates for summer camp, of course. <laughs> Are you still not subscribed? Do it now. Let's go into Pakanak. We have a long video here showcasing the new lighting and ambience of Pakanak. It's also worth noting that the graphics are not final. There'll be insane upgrades in the new engine. I want you to take a second and listen closely to the environment. I think this really makes you feel much more immersed. If you want to watch the entire video, I'd highly recommend joining the Summer Camp Discord server. I will have the link to that in the description. This is also where you'll be able to download Summer Camp once it releases. Happy spring, everyone. You guys liking the weather so far? Summer Camp is set to have nighttime, daytime, snow, thunder, and possibly a fog weather setting. Sign me up. Are you a fan of Virtual Cabins? I know I am. As some of you may know, the Virtual Cabin we all know and love is actually Virtual Cabin 2.0. Well, there's a very high possibility Summer Camp will be adding the original, not a remake, the original Virtual Cabin 1.0. But why not get the best of both worlds? Virtual Cabin 1.0 will possibly merge with Virtual Cabin 2.0 as a map. Oh, that sounds so sick. Dead counselors scattered throughout the map as you're playing, hanging on trees on the back of doors over ledges. And if you thought that that would be a sick map please take a seat summer camp will be bringing us these following maps a new friday the 13th part 7 the new blood map this will be tina shepherd's house or the shepherd's residence the one everyone's always been asking for friday the 13th part 8 jason takes manhattan map and friday the 13th 2009 map so much possibility comes with this i don't have any details on this at all all right now we're going to move into the game changers this is why i would call this almost a new friday the 13th game please do not say this is a dead by daylight ripoff everyone says dead by daylight is already a ripoff of friday the 13th so you can't be going back and forth choose one jason's can no longer slash to death counselors will crawl when about to die let me break this down for you jason can still slash you but once the counselor's health gets low enough they will begin to crawl and jason can't slash a counselor once they're crawling so jason will have to pick counselors up off the ground and do a grab kill on them so i'm really curious what you guys think do you like this change now let's continue talking about the counselors in game a bit more did you know that in the beta of friday the 13th of the game they wanted to add abilities that's right counselor abilities like stamina boost this will be coming to summer camp the next thing is even more game changing which i absolutely love counselors will possibly be able to move items like cabinets in front of doors are you serious let's talk about some more fun stuff now like new counselor clothing is confirmed alpha counselors basically alpha counselors are just more detailed and colored like our man alpha chat over here and this about wraps up our counselor side of summer camp what do you guys think about all that stuff let's talk more about jason every jason will get a new ability i I'm not sure what the new ability will be. We'll have to wait and see about that. Going into Jason skins, two new part two Jason skins, three new part three Jason skins. One of the skins is just for a more detailed mask. That is all I know. One new part six Jason skin. I imagine it would be the paintball. Not sure. Three new part seven Jason skins. One being a movie realistic. Awesome. And one new mask with two different styles. Very interesting. Not really sure what that means, but very interesting. And one new Savini Jason skin. Let's go. The cherry on top is that we will be getting Alpha Jason model skins. Alpha model, again, is a little more detailed and colored. There's a possibility of getting movie accurate Jason skins. We do know part seven will get his movie accurate skin though. Every Jason will have a retro skin. There will be retro Jason weapons. This is a first. I love this. When loading into a game, there will be beta intros. Back in the day, there was these really clean beta intros. This is a 
big one for lots of players. Jason AI is confirmed to come to summer camp. What this means is that you can play with offline bots as a counselor and Jason will actually come chase you. Jason is a bot. This is going to be great practice. So many players are going to get better because of this. Region lock is patched. That is great. This basically means you can queue up with people all over the world. And finally, probably the biggest news I'll talk about with summer camp. There's a possibility summer camp is coming to Xbox, mobile, and Linux and or Mac. PlayStation won't be available for summer camp. I was told it was just too complex to put summer camp on a PlayStation. Very unfortunate, but for you Xbox, mobile, Linux, and Mac players, there's a possibility for cross-play. Imagine being on Xbox in the same lobby with someone on mobile while someone on PC is hosting, playing this insanely stacked mod build. This is a lot of pressure on the developers to deliver all this. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to come through with all of this because this is pretty much more than what most players even ask for. What do you guys think? I'm beyond curious what people are like going to say about this video. If they deliver as promised, and when they do, it'll probably be around summer. Is everyone but PlayStation players about to have a crazy summer playing summer camp? Well, I see you there. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me blabble on about this. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, man. I'm trying to get that 10K, please. I can't sleep at night knowing I'm this close to 10K. That's all the news I got for you today, and I'll see you at summer camp.